So we've just had a youth intake. It's been pretty poor. And we're having our last league game of the year. But we're going to see what jobs are potentially available. And if the team decide to go professional for the new campaign or not. This could be a long video, but let's see what happens, shall we? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jeff TV. I am Jay Leb and this is Full Merger. 2022 the master we build a save and yeah this intake was terrible i regret even thinking about bringing this to you guys attention but i'm gonna go through some of the players we've actually signed anyway because three stars literally the best we can get which is a bit of a shame for what can you do andres elstrom was the first player that really had my attention he's also inconsistent which again is kind of terrible when you think about it doesn't have much to really be excited about he is a striker, apparently, but he's definitely more of a winger, and that's what I need to say. Anton Sandstrom is also inconsistent and not very good. Again, really not something I should be excited about, and he's even worse than the last guy, which says a lot. Philippe Forsman is actually probably the best of the current ability players, and he's a centre-back who's more of a DM, and I am seeing DM in this guy because he hasn't got the jumping reach and the a lot of things I want honest with you i'll probably play as a dm quite frankly but yeah he's got the jumping reach but he's not got the height and i need height not just jumping reach so someone who needs a lot of work to improve he is very consistent though so that's nice jesper x storm we seem to have a lot of players that have storm or storm on the end of their names he's very inconsistent and is probably never going to be good enough for the team but i don't know what else to say he just had three sub potential and i went with that and i regret it immediately Theodore Edibor is also very inconsistent and a bit of an idiot. So I don't think I need to say much more than that, do I? The last person we did sign was Nadim Buyuk. And I think he's Turkish, just from his name. Yep, Turkish. I knew I was right. He's both Swedish and Turkish. So there you go. He knows more languages than I do, and that's a bit annoying. But he's only ambitious. He's got some good attributes, but not a lot of good attributes. So... He needs work. Still, we've had a few games since we last met, since, you know, we won the league, and we're going to go over the games we've had since we last met. So we took on your hoods, and I thought we're going to do well. We just won the title. We've got nothing to lose. Then someone places the cross, finds Fahenabik, and Fahenabik scores. A good start from us inside 30 minutes before we double our lead, because Aina does this. One of the best free kicks you'll see, and it was a top corner free kick. So wonderful to see us do so well. We win again. And we're proven to be an absolute nuisance for everyone who we play right now. And it's continuing to be impressive. We actually could be getting close to a record this year. The next match we had was against BK Forward. And Andor Kovic's header hits the bar. But Furhan Abik scores on the rebound. Make it 1-0 inside 62 minutes. Before we make it 2. And remember us about um, Aina's first goal being really good. This goal might be just as good if not even better. In off the bar to make it 2. And it was just a really nice finish. And it was good to see us do so well once again. We had one more game since we last met. And that was against Enskade. And we won again. This time, Francis one touch finish from Fernabic. A really good delivery and a really good finish. And it was another game where we had a clean sheet. And there's a record we have broken because of this achievement right now. So we are top of the table. fernabic has got 20 goals. Oskana has got a 7.69 average rating and 11 assists so far this year. And we've got 73 points, 23 wins. We are 21 points clear of Zambikens who have just fallen apart since we kind of won the title. And... Yeah, we're 20. The fact we're 21 points clear makes it perhaps the most dominant season we could ever have. And we are close to breaking some records. The most points a team has ever won or achieved in this division is 75 points. Akapolis was the team to do it. They also had the most league wins with 23. They also had the most league defeats a few years later, which is kind of awkward when you realize they've got the most wins and the most defeats. It's a record I don't know how they pulled off. But they also have no draws. But again, it's just a bizarre situation. 29 defeats. They had just three points to their name and it happened last season. I don't think I've ever seen a team do so badly. And they were in the second tier when the save started. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's interesting. 
They're also 12th right now, trying to avoid a third straight relegation. So they've had a really difficult time of things as of this moment in time. I think, in fact, I've already finished their season, right? Yeah, they've already finished their season. So they're literally going to try and avoid relegation for the players again. How bad was this season? I need to check this out now. For my own morbid curiosity. The last two seasons has seen them only pick up six points before this current season. I've not seen a club do so badly in two years in my entire life. At what point do you look at them and think, we need a rebuild? No, I'm not going to. Don't even bother asking that question. But I didn't realize how bad they've been doing. And to think, that's this was the season they won the league with they did so well and then they've got fifth place next year what happened what on earth happened to cause this kind of collapse in the last three seasons but yeah we've actually got a current record of most games we're conceding with eight we've actually got nine currently we're conceding and we could break that record ourselves we are going to have the most clean sheets to my knowledge because that's kind of 12 and well Echo says it's got 20 clean sheets. I think that's me get a broken record already. And Oscar Eno's going to have the highest average rating as well. I think also 12 assists is the record for most assists. So Eno can get two assists. He breaks that record as well. As well. So we could have a lot of records being broken today if we beat Scalatia. So yeah, beat them. We're good. We're taking them on today. They're in sixth. This is the side that will try and break a few records today. Kakasi is in goal. Franson and Lukovic, Verm and Bertram in the back line. Aina, Anderson, Lakel in the middle of the park. We've got Simon Mandinga and Bila Mohamed on the wings with Fernabik up front. If we can break some records today, we're great. If we can't, then not the end of the world. We've already won the title comfortably. So let's see how we do. Also, if we win today, we would have picked up What the hell is this? I was just about to say, if we won today, it would be my 50th win in 68, but this goal is ridiculous. How has the keeper got it so badly wrong? What on earth? Okay, so Franson on the ball, and someone who's scored the free goal is on the ball, and he's just won a penalty. I think we're going to break a few records today. Just don't know how we're going to do it. Someone can get his second of the game, and actually Sam Vickens are taking on... The cord and they're drawing right now. So summon to get his second. Score the second. It's his 14th goal of the season. The first goal is a fluke. The second's a penalty. I don't know what else to say. Oh my days. This is this is like the most bizarre situation I've ever found myself in. In terms of how we scored. And we could be 23 points clear. 24 points clear, because Sam Vicenza just conceded again. They're losing right now. They're so lucky they did not need a win today to secure the playoff and they already got it. My God, have we absolutely destroyed this league and I don't know how we've done so well. So in the end, didn't really do a lot. We win 2-0 away from home and we've shown we're probably the best team to ever exist in this division and I can't believe I'm saying that and I can say it with a straight face. The points that we've gained and the wins we've achieved, I think show you that. I just got the part of the tank achievement. I've just gone 10 games without conceding it. And it's ridiculous I can say that. But yeah, 76 points, 30 games, 24 points clear. We've not only won the league, we've absolutely crushed everyone else. We've crushed the competition. And the team that beat us, the only team that beat us, and they did it twice, just got relegated in 14th place. The team that... Ruin my unbeaten record have just been relegated. Why is this a thing that's going to be annoying me for the rest of my time here? Why? The fact that we can outright say this sentence here. IFK Eskistun have lifted the Division 1 Nord title comfortably with 24 points separating them from the Zambikins is mental to me. It really is. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Oh. Um... I just got linked to them again. Why am I being linked to this team again? I don't want the job. Can, can we not? Can we not please do this? I'm the second favourite. I don't want the job. 
I legitimately do not want the job. The the vision below to me. I don't want them. I have no interest. I have no. I don't. I have no interest. I have no interest in going work in such conditions or going to a team that's another division of me. Thank you very much. Okay, so the end of season review has arrived, and we have another got we have another trophy to our names. So that's great. So new arrivals. Here we are. Who's the sign of the season? Oscar Ainer. And here, the, I didn't realize this was the case, but he actually was at the club. That's our parent club. Before he signed, he might be the best player we've signed so far this year. And that says a lot. But he was the sign of the season. We're paying him much lower than we should be. And we've got Sun also doing really well. His free goal was probably my favorite goal of the season so far. Sundergaard was also really good this year. Even though he only came late on and he played, what, 11 times? Four starts? He was really good for me. And Kakosios got 21 clean sheets in 30 matches in the league. I don't know about you, but that's rather impressive. And then at the fact he got an extra two clean sheets in the two cup games we had. 23 clean sheets in 32 matches. Mental. Franz was pretty good for me as well. Now, Jerry, I didn't really give a lot of time to. So that's partly on my fault, but he was pretty decent. The only player I can say I'm disappointed in is Mohamed. Because he had a lot of time, and I gave him a lot of games. But he just didn't do well for me, and I'm disappointed with that. Now, Spenson probably shouldn't have done... Should, probably should never have brought him in, actually. I should probably get rid of him, if I can. 50 quid a week. They're disappointed that I'm paying him too much. Too much. 50 quid a week. Transfer's out. Uh, we got rid of Ringo because we didn't like him. Christensen, I think I released and just went elsewhere instead. Crystal was sold. And then... Lugunja, I forgot he existed. He did terribly at his new club, so there's a lot I forgot about him. Twain didn't do great, but wasn't terrible either. And Bakos was also playing games on loan. It's good to see him doing something productive. Season results. Should I be concerned I'm only getting the, the Spencer Cooper? Cooper. I, I'm very confused by this, but okay. Apparently, I've broken. This is broken still. Uh, I, still, I still don't know who I'm going to get in the group stage if I even stay at the job long enough to find out, but yeah. So, match to mem moment to remember was the 5-0 victory against Skeletia. We just beat them the last game of the year. Simon also scored the goal of the season that effort, and... Oh, yeah. Yeah, if it's the goal I think it is, and I think it's that goal, that's definitely my goal of the year. What a free kick that is. It might not actually be. Hang on. So they're saying this is the goal of the year. I'm going to be honest with you. I absolutely disagree. Even if it's a really good finish. I think the free kick in the same match is the goal of the season. And I've, yeah, this is the free kick I'm talking to you about. I think that's the goal of the year. We may have differences in opinions. But I'm right in this one. That free kick is the goal of the year. You cannot tell me otherwise. So yeah, that free kick was the goal of the year. Nothing else. I'm not, I cannot agree with the, uh, with the other goal being the goal of the year. I really can't. Finances, we made just a few hundred more in the sponsorship. Co uh, the corporate and hospitality has gone up, as has the match day commercial and retail. Broadcast revenue and competition prize money didn't go up at all. We sold £903 in merchandise and 90 of that was non-domestic. We've actually managed to improve our reputation to one and a half stars as well, which is useful. Can it trust us? Uh, Hire a player uh, to the club, hire a caliber player, help the fan base grow and improve our commercial revenue. So that's good. And this is the lineup of the year. I think this is, I still think this is broken, but you know, I'm just going to show them that's the thing. I'm going to go to watch the other thing. So let's do that. I think what they're doing here and why it's broken is they are showing the start of last year and then going for this year. That's what I think is happening here. So let's go over that in a bit. Accolades. I won Manager of the Month four times, and I'm probably going to win it again this time as well for the fifth time here. So Oscar was the Fans Player of the Year, and the Kovic was the pl Young Player of the Year. Oscar got the Sun in the season, Simon got the Goal of the Year, Bernabic got 20 goals, uh, Oscar got 12 assists, that's a record there. He got the most player of the match with 6, high duration of 7.7, and completed 107 passes by 90. So, records were broken. Fernandovic's 20 league goals was the highest, as well as his hat-trick being the most. And the 23 uh, uh, clean sheets by Nicolas Matvel Kakosios was the record. It's been an official record now. Well, Oscar Ina has broken the record for the most yellow cards with six. I 
I can't believe that's a thing I can claim, and it's just, it feels weird to say it's only six, but okay. History in the making. Your hard work and effort paid off on the pitch, and such a feat didn't go on reward at our end of season awards ceremony. I mean, the fact they showed me this now, but they couldn't show me this earlier is confusing. But yeah, IFK Eskostuna have been brilliant since day one. Their early season football was a joy to watch, and they deservedly going up. Kevin Coulson from the Swedish Football Gazette. Wow, that's a new name. I haven't seen him before, but okay, we've done well. So yeah. In fact, I had to deny my interest in the AFC Eskostuna thing, also because I legitimately feared they were going to get me to stop being promoted, is a saying a lot. So I'll take a screenshot of that. Thank you. So we also won the broke the record for the most wins in the league history, which is great. And I'm going to look at this now. So overall best 11. We're going to look at this officially now. That's not the one I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. That's better. That's much better. It tells me everything I need to know. And the fact we had two players. Oh, actually, no. We had about four players with a 7.5 or more in the starting lineup is pretty good. Both my center backs being up there. Aina being up there as well as Son Madinga. The fact that Fernabek only got 7.2 on average rating despite scoring 20 goals is, a, I think, tells you a lot. But at the same time, it's annoying because he's much better than I think he is in that regard. So we got good things going our way. So yes, they want me to fight bravely against relegation in the second tier. Gonna be honest, I can see why that's a problem. They also want me to play attacking football, possession football, make the most set pieces and high tempo pressing football. I'm not going to change my formation at all. What I'm going to do is try and get more players in if I decide to stay. So yeah, that's a thing. I'm going to tell the players that what we are going to do... What can I say? I, I generally don't know what one is. I'm so happy with our season. Promotion was fully deserved, but I will have to strengthen the squad to make sure we have a good chance of fighting and relegation straight back down. Okay, that's awkward. I might have accidentally done that. I didn't realise I was saying what I did. But yeah, I just told him, look, I, got, I backed down. I backed down. I should have said we were able to be relegated. I forgot. I didn't realise what I was saying wasn't that. But okay. Uh, thank you for your reaction. Um, you all performed the exhibition last year. More to come for you. Uh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, I want you all to enjoy your breaks. Thank you very much. I mean, I might not be here. So, ooh. Ooh, this is awkward for them. The fact that I, at first, generally said the wrong thing, and I actually lost some... Some of them I was actually gone down a little bit because I generally didn't think that through. As much... I didn't think what I was saying was unrealistic. I thought it was... I thought it was saying about fighting relegation, but no, apparently I, I went too far. This is bloody awkward. Okay, so... Oh! They actually give me an option of pre-season, so... 10 weeks before the season starts. So January 2024, the 22nd of Jan. Okay, we're going to do that. We're back in a bit. And uh, I actually want to show you this as well before we do anything else. Jobs security. So currently, there's a lot of jobs available that I would be interested in potentially doing. But I want to wait until the start of next year. Because I may be still going, to be completely honest with you. If I have to be completely blunt. And I generally don't know what I want to be doing next year, but... What we're going to do is go forward to the end of the year, see if our records be broken, and see more records be achieved as well, because technically, technically, it's not the end of the year yet, because of the playoffs that's going to happen. So, we're going to see what happens with the playoffs, and we'll be back. Actually, can I see the rules for this when it's done? So, it will be done in November, so we'll be back for that, and then we'll be seeing... Potentially, what else is available in the meantime? So, if I've been a pro, I've been linked to some new jobs, is interesting. Also, I've now got two star reputation, and they want me again. I'm going to say no to them, but I've got two star in reputation now. I think I should be good to get more jobs available to my leisure. So, back in a bit. So, I know we're not at the end of the season yet, but I'm looking at some of the jobs that are currently available, and I've Came across the realization that Kaiser Slauten are currently available and they're still in the third tier. A Kaiser Slauten team that honestly looked very appealing as an idea for a new role if I was to move on. I'm tempted to see what happens here. Like, they want to guide the well, promotion still, which 
might be a bit ambitious given that they are in the 14th place 18 points i mean they're only six points away from the top three so maybe i say top three because the Bayern Munich's b team is in there but yeah they're only six points away from promotion so i'm definitely getting some vibes i want to try and go to kaiserslaus and i mean the fact they've got a massive stadium as well really appeals to me but I've been linked to some two-star teams right now. Reputation is a two-and-a-half-star team a bit much. Gotta think about this because I'm genuinely curious. I'm now starting to get the bug that I want to go to a German team because we're the ma our manager's from Liechtenstein and he speaks German, so he would absolutely fit in. Should I go to Germany with Kaiserslautern? I I'll, I'll need to have a think. Well then. We've just been linked with a big job in the Swedish top flight. Now, they've just been relegated, but Ostersund have just sacked their manager. A two-star job, but they have just sacked Powell, and I'm the second favourite for the role. A two-star team have made me their second favourite. Gonna be honest... That I'm now being linked with two star roles is interesting in Sweden at least. I kind of was wishing it wasn't going to be of a team that is in the same country that I'll be fighting next year. And if you look at their competition history, they've won the Swedish Cup in 2017 and I haven't really done much more. And their best finish was fifth in this division. I'm not sure I'm that fussed about this role, to be completely honest with you, but the fact I've been linked with these roles is still very interesting to me and also it's the fact that graham potter took this club to the top flight it's actually hilarious but i don't know it's interesting but at the same time not interesting if that makes sense so i need to think on this one i'm not gonna deny it these ones so you know, i'm not gonna deny the particular role but i'm not gonna say anything either i've got nothing to say in the press speculation and we're gonna go with that Okay, so, end of the season's arrived. We've got record number of points, 76. It's a new record for this league. Average Racing also got a new record for Oscar, because Oscar is really good. I got the man of the year, because I'm apparently really good. And the director of football is really happy I got it. I hired this guy, if I recall correctly, and he's happy with me. Mm. And we got eight players in the media stream. 11, my entire back line... One of my midfielders, one of my wingers, and one of my and my own, my main striker, and my goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah, this is a really good team, isn't it? And two of my players made it into the uh, Swedish first division north on the twenty team of the year. I didn't know this existed until today. That's interesting. So Sam Figures actually did get promoted despite the fact we were easily the best team in this division by a country mile and made them look like idiots. The team that finished in the relegation playoffs did survive. So, congratulations to you. You've done a good job. There's actually this final to still play, technically. So, the 19th is when that happens. And we'll find out if Degafors will be in the same division of us next year. Or Sundsvall will stay down here instead. We've also got elections to go through. So, that's something. That occurs on the 15th. I've also been looking at other jobs. And, um... I like to think... That I am pretty equipped to do some good things right now. So yeah, all these jobs that are currently available. There's quite a few interesting ones, I like to think. Kaiser Slazen is still available. And I, I genuinely thought I would be gone by now. There's also a Polish one that's got my interest. And I don't know how to say its name, I'm so sorry. But they're the top flight team. Two star, current, uh, two -star reputation. And they are the former champions from 1998. You can see why it's got my interest, can't you? Even if they are in a relegation zone right now. Haven't played a game less than the team above them. Yeah. Yeah, that could be interesting. Even if I probably don't want to take the role for that reason at the moment. But yeah, the fact we are still... We got linked with this team that finished 15th in the top flight of Sweden is interesting to me. I don't know what else to say. Other than the fact that I could do that. However, we're going to go to the job centre now. And I actually have only got the managers now. We're linked, officially linked. It's because it's us. We are still wanted by... Oh, we got two teams now wanting us, apparently. 
we are a two-star reputation manager. One of my a team that's two-star in reputation. And we're also the favorite for another two-star team in Del Card. So and they didn't get promoted with us. So technically, I wouldn't go for them because they haven't really won the divisions I want. They've only been in the top flight and finished 15th. You see why I'm not interested in them? They're in the division below us, but the other team that we're linked with makes sense to look at that. And I wanted to look at some of the teams that are in the ascendancy or need new managers right now. And I just look at this and I think, Kaiser Slavs is just really interesting to me. Even if this guy is the man they want. I'm not getting the job over this guy, might, let's be honest. That'd be impressive if I could. But yeah, a lot of jobs available, and I just, I'm just fascinated by the opportunities, really. I'll have to see what happens. I really will. Let's see what happens in the election. Okay, so we've actually got a new chairperson, and Kaiser Slauten have um, uh, appointed a new manager on the day of the election, so I can't go for that role anymore. <laughs> I shouldn't tease it, but I kind of did. They've also cut the um, affiliate link we had. So that's fun. And given that they finished bottom and are not going up, it makes sense. Yeah, it really made sense to get rid of the link. I'm going to be honest with you and let's say that's a good call on their part. They also want me to fight by Vegas Vegation soon. And nothing's changed. Nothing has changed to my knowledge. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I've been apparently selected to manage the Rookie All-Star North in the upcoming Rookie All-Star match. How does this work? Like, I've just been called to... What happens here? I've never had this problem before. And apparently I've got two, three of my players in this. So, um... Yeah, I've got two of my players in this. And I'm apparently going to be called to... Apparently the person who's managing the south side won the south division. I've never been in this situation before. So this has been interesting. So it happened. Vega Fours actually survived. They drew 2-2 two -two in the second game after winning 2-1 in the first leg. And they have stayed up in the top flight. So we now know who we'll be facing next year. And it's an interesting situation to find ourselves in. That we have been linked, heavily linked to the team that's coming down from the top flight. But at the same time, I'm not sure if I really want the job. And there's also other jobs that I've really got my interest right now. I look at the other jobs and I think, do I not want to go to those jobs instead? Also, the fact that IFK Gothenburg had such a horrid season is interesting after being champions. They're only finishing seventh in the end. A disappointing season from their point of view. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confused as to what to do in this situation right now. And with all these jobs currently available, I'm just looking at these jobs and thinking I could potentially go to another place. I really do think I can get another work. Uh, so, at least another job right now. And it's interesting to be in that situation where... I genuinely don't know what to do. So, what we're going to do is end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video for what it is. And I hope you guys will like and share this video. And that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot. I think I'm going to wait until I know if we are professional or semi-professional before I really move on. Because that would definitely be a big step in whether I decide to stay at the club or not. So... I'll be back for when that's officially confirmed that we are professional or semi-professional in the second flight. And see you guys then. But either way, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.